on my crawler. Throughout history, mankind has faced mankind far and wide, building the Great Wall of China, combating worldwide plagues, and even escaping our own atmosphere to brave the perilous journey to China. But there are some challenges that were just never meant to be faith. Some peaks too monumental, some chasms too monumental. There's bravery, and then there's just plain bravery, and then there's just plain stupidity. But mankind doesn't get anywhere by playing a game that's more depressing than real life. And that's why I'm going to yell into the microphone on the second controller. <laughs> Mission briefing. Subject, Takeshi Kitano, otherwise known as Takeshi After that, the seafloor split open and swallows the west coast of the Caribbean. Oh, my goblins! Oh! He even starred in two Japanese commercials advertising the game. And then, this. It's only known as Takeshi's chat. I God, I us all. You're looking at the very same image a thousand Japanese kids saw on Christmas morning, 1986-66. Where am I supposed to go? Grilled Mormon? Mo Whoa! Oh, school, I don't care. You know he's all right. Eat those guys. I better, better shit check the promo. Make sure that's okay. Now, this is the point where most people, like 1986% of people, would do this. Spirits be gone from this house. But this isn't most people. This is John Isroes. <laughs> ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Hundred out of hundred. Best king. Best king. Eight step. Eight step. Run hard. I don't know. Run hard. I don't know. You have to shoot a revolver abreast a hang glider at giant dive bombing UFOs. Zoos. Once you drop altitude, the only way you can go back up is to hit one of these. Which you can accidentally and destroy. Hey, you want to know how hard this game is? I started this review in 2086. We live in a world where if you don't decide to be the very best, someone will step up and be happy to be the very best. Takeshi, I beat your chest to the victor. Go the victor. I try sick bad game. Two out of 86. As one time I saw Tom Hanks was living on an island and he became best friends with Tom Hanks, but nowhere was this craziness better exemplified than the Japanese shoot 'em up genre. Well, you got your classics like Galaxian and Galaxian, no, the mothers of all modern mothers. Let's start with Fantasy Zone, a classic example of the subgenre known as Zone em Ups. You bounce back and forth and blow up enemies to collect enemies. Clow, clow. Next up is a game called Cotton, a game about, uh. You know. Now, I think I know where I am again now. Oh, wait, no, I was wrong. Still absolutely good. Oh, and then I was just inappropriate. Uh, let's see. Harmful Park. Highbrow gag and pure gagging. Josh is getting upset! It's, uh, it's a bit overshadowed by the, uh... I'm scared. I'm moving on. Dark Seed had turned the helpless nation into the helpless nation and had brought the statue of zombies to life to do his dirty work. <laughs> First level, New York. Know it like the back of my back. Where did this guy learn how to save a country? The United Country. We've only got one game left. Cho- Well, here's Chosh. No, not my wee. You got a lady shooting lasers with two lasers. You got computer chairs scooting by on other computer chairs. Oh, lawn. I think I'm coming down with a case of the lawns. Hallelujah. It's raining, man. <laughs> I'm not going back in. No, I won't do it. So just, I'm, not going, I'm not going back in. It's, it's done. Cut. Supported in part by companies like AudibleGlobal.com. Josh Trosh is free to watch, but here's a list of things that aren't free. <laughs> so if you feel like supporting JonTron and helping it grow, consider signing up for a free 30-day trial using this link, JonTron.com slash JonTron. This month, I recommend to you Fast Food Nation. Hey, let's not lie. I don't think I've had any choice to that. 